Good evening, YouTubians. This is Mr. Sci-Fi Fan here. Um, yeah, this is going to be in a bit of an unusual video because I'm used to doing biking videos, but um, but um, I have decided to undertake um, probably quite an extensive project to build my own um, quadrocopter, my own DIY quadrocopter, um, with the aim of being able to mount a my HD camera to the um, the drone and have the drone fly itself autonomously um, you know around you know my my neighborhood or perhaps around my house or whatever and just take some uh, some cool aerial uh, video so in building this quadrocopter I've decided rather than getting a kit um, which is all done for you I'm going to start from scratch so I um, to that end, I have uh, purchased what will be the um, drone's brain, which is a um, which is basically an Arduino board, um, which is a microprocessor, um, which I'm currently experimenting with now. And I thought, well, I'd make this video because this is just very cool. What you can do with this Arduino board. So I have it hooked up here to my um, to my PC. Um, to my computer and um, you know it's it, I thought the first thing I'm going to need to do when I build this um, quadrocopter is, is being able to control the rotors um, I think the first problem is going to be um, uh, achieving stable flight um, so for, I've got a very very simple circuit here so I've got my my Arduino board here and it's running running a, a program at the moment which I've um, uploaded to it or flashed um, to it and it's basically turning that little orange LED on and off um, every 200 milliseconds uh, which is what it's doing at the moment but um, yeah that's all great and everything but I want to be able to control four independent rotors and I want to be able to control them independently and control their speed and so forth um, now I've also been learning about um, uh, MOSFETs and transistors and things like that. So, what I've got here is um, I've got a well, first I've got a computer fan, um, just as a little experiment, and I've got that hooked up to a um, uh, I don't know what rating transistor this is. It's an NPN, um, but it's a what is it? It's a five amp. Yes, yeah, a five amp transistor, um, which is capable of. Uh, 100 volts, um, which is way more than um, I need for this experiment. But I thought, well, let's give it a try um, because on the, the 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 output pins here on the on the um, Arduino board uh, only throw out um, about five volts, which is which is not enough to power this fan. So I've got the fan independently connected to a 12 volt power supply, um, which is then going to this transistor and um, I've got the. Uh, let's have a look at the diagram here because I can't even remember. This is really because I'm completely new to electronics. I've been doing software dis development for years. Yeah, um, um, the whole electronics thing is still new to me. But uh, okay, so we've got the base, the collector, and the emitter. And the base of the transistor is connected to one of the output pins on the Arduino. So I've currently connected it to pin. Nine is it? Yeah, pin nine. And um, so that's going to the base, and I've got the collector um, going to um, the negative terminal of the computer fan, and I've got the the emitter um, going to the ground. So I'm going to um, one lead here is going to um, ground on the Arduino board, and also to negative on my external power supply. Um, and the objective is to see if I can just control this fan at varying speeds. Um, and so firstly, I've got to write the code to do that. Um, so let's just have a look here. I've got... Um, let me see if we can focus on that. Come on, there we go. So I've got um, some basically some code here which the which is being run on, on the little 
um, microprocessor at the moment and it's written in C um, and very very um, tiny bit of code but at the moment you can see it's running it's running um, these, these four lines of code at the moment which is basically um, sending a signal to this pin um, which is currently pin 13 um, waiting um, 200 milliseconds and sending a low signal to it um, and then waiting another 200 milliseconds. So it's basically turning it on here, waiting 200 milliseconds, turning it off, waiting 200 milliseconds. And as you can see, um, that's exactly what's happening there. Um, and that is pin 13. That orange LED, LED is connected to pin 13 on the board. But what I want to do is be able to um, control the, uh, the, the fan. And so I've got the fan connected to pin 9. So I've just declared a, a variable there for pin 9. Then I've set the pin mode um, for pin 9 as an output pin. And I've written some code here which I've commented out, but I'm going to uncomment it now, just so I can show you what it does. Yeah, let's just comment that out there. So what we've got here is firstly we've got a little loop, a little for loop here. And you can see what that's doing, that is incrementing from 0 a value of i from 0 all the way up to 255 and for every increment it is writing an analog um, value to pin 9 um, of that value, the current value, so basically it's going to be going 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, all the way up to 255 um, and it, after each write it's going to delay about 30 milliseconds then we're going to hold, do another delay for 4 seconds, hold the, the fan at its maximum speed for 4 seconds um, and let's get rid of actually no that then is waiting another one second don't need that and then we are turning the lead off to indicate that we are now slowing down and then we're doing the, the loop again but we're now coming from 255 going down to zero um, decrementing the value of i um, so this will effectively slow the fan down and after each increment or decrement sorry um, delay 30 milliseconds and then afterwards delay um, one second. So um, yeah, um, that's what the little piece of code is going to do. Um, so let's just save that and um, and uh, and upload it. If you can hear that, well, there we go. There's, there is that code in action. Now it's slowing down. Now it's off. Now it's turning back on. Let me just turn the monitor off, just so you can see that better, because that's pretty cool. Now I don't know if you can notice there's a there's a high pitched whine coming from the fan, um, and there's a reason for that. Um, it's because here um, I'm using the pulse width modulation um, output pins, and what happens when you send an analog signal um, through one of those pins? It actually sends it at about 460 hertz or something like that. So and it, and it sends it as a sawtooth wave. So that that's that sound is is, is actually um, is actually uh, the audible um, the audible uh, sawtooth wave coming through, which I think is pretty cool. Although I probably could isolate that by putting some capacitors and stuff like that on um, on the um, on the fan. But yeah, so this clearly demonstrates that I can control the speed um, of the uh, of the motors um, so when hopefully this is going to be hooked up to four um, spinning um, rotors and I'll be able to control the speed of those independently 
Um, and the next tricky part is going to be hooking up a gyroscope um, and an accelerometer so that the drone can stabilize itself by reading the values of the accelerometer and the gyroscope and applying different um, power outputs to each of the rotors to, to stabilize itself. So, yeah, so this is this is step one. I'm hoping to do many more videos as, as further as I get with this project, but um, yeah, very cool.